Hey internet, today is January 15th and that means that today I have been making videos on YouTube on this channel for four years. On January 15th, 2013, I sat in the room just over there and created my first ever YouTube video. At the end of each year, I like to kind of look back at what I've done in the past year on YouTube and what I'm looking to do in the future. In contrast to the previous three years on YouTube videos, this video is chronicling some pretty intense changes. First of all, I'm wearing the VidCon shirt from last year, which is something that I never thought that I would be able to say. At the beginning of 2016, I had less than 100 subscribers. I knew a couple people by their usernames and had a couple comments on my channel. I wasn't super involved with any community. I was just kind of starting to get involved with the Arondonauts and I was mostly a watcher and a maker of content, but didn't engage kind of in the way that I should, but I was starting to do that more. Then during 2016, I started to really develop my community of small creators. I started to get involved with the comments on other YouTubers' channels, and I just really started developing internet friends in a way that I had never done before. I remember quite a few years ago, I was on Tumblr. I'd been on Tumblr for a while, and I was seeing people saying that they had cr found friends on Tumblr and I wasn't understanding how I could have been doing internet things for so long like since middle school and I still hadn't found people that I could consider really close friends but what I didn't understand at that point is that you had to put work into it people don't normally just like flock to you and say hey, hey I want to be your friend like it's a thing between two different people where you have to mutually admire each other and, and reach out and engage and that's something that I really worked on doing this year. If you have been around for a while or if you've heard me talk about it, commenting wasn't always the easiest thing for me. It still isn't like the easiest thing for me, but I find it so much easier now that I've had all this practice and it's just because I've had so much good experience. So a little bit later in January of 2016, I got to 100 subscribers and things kind of started building. I started getting more involved in commenting with other people's channels and I started making things uh, for contests and I was trying to get to VidCon. I really wanted to, but I wasn't sure that I was gonna be able to. And I got really interested in the small creator community. So I had made friends with Christina, my first internet friend, and we made a collaboration video in January of last year. I started to interact with some other people who tagged me in some tag videos. I had gotten introduced to Alice at the end of the previous year, so we were starting to build our relationship as small creators. And it was all very exciting and very encouraging, and so it made me just want to delve deeper and deeper into this aspect of community. Then at the end of March last year, I I saw that someone had posted in the comments of one of Michael Aranda's vlog videos on what I'm doing right now to ask if people were doing Vita. I immediately was like, hey, yes, I. this is a thing that I'm doing. And I was saying this to a group of people that really at this point didn't know who I was. And so as a result, I got all of these people that decided to come over and watch what I was uh, making and listen to what I was saying and it ended up being this amazing group of people who not only would watch but also would engage. It gave me this feeling of like this is what I want my YouTube experience to be like. I want to have a communication with the people that are watching my videos. I want to say things and have people respond to them. That really changed the way that I made content. I started really working on the content that was things that I was thinking about and things that I was struggling with that I wanted to hear other people's advice on or I wanted to start a dialogue about. And so that's kind of what ran my channel this year. The previous year, 2015, was a lot of traveling, whereas this year I spent more time talking and having conversations and responding to other creators. When I started in 2016, when I created goals for myself, I decided that I wanted to focus on making meaningful connections and making meaningful content. I don't think I really knew <laughs> how well I was going to be able to follow through with those goals because what ended up happening was I made so many meaningful connections. I have so many of you guys that I consider to be my friends and I talk to so often. After I get done filming this video, I'm going to do an Aranda Not Hangout for a little while and this is something that's 
happened this year where a group of us who started out you know, knowing each other through commenting on Michael Aranda's What I'm Doing Right Now videos, we all get together every month and do a Google Hangout where we video call with each other and it has been one of my favorite things that I've gotten to do this year. So yeah, on the meaningful connection side of things, definitely <laughs> check mark there. There are so many of you who will be watching this that I consider to be friends and I've now met and gosh, I don't know, like it's beautiful to me. It's something that I think about all of the time and I'm just so grateful for because if there was any year that I really needed to make these meaningful connections, it was this year and it worked out so well. And on top of those things, it was the meaningful content. I was talking about things that mattered to me and things that I cared about and as a result, you guys responded back and talked about things that you cared about and we just had so much good discourse. And so thank you, thank you for being willing to engage with me and being willing to leave me paragraphs and paragraphs in the comments. Like, it makes me so happy when I log into YouTube and I see that notification and I see that someone has taken the time to really think about what I've been saying and give me their own thoughts and as a result I've tried to respond to every single person that has commented. If I've missed you I'm so sorry it might have been during one of the times where I was super busy but I've just loved it so please continue to leave me your thoughtful comments. Never feel like you have commented too much or too long because I read all of it and I love it. As a result of this amazing community of people that I have found myself a part of I have gotten the opportunity to do so many cool things. The biggest of all being VidCon. I got the chance to enter into a contest and had people give money for me to go across the country to experience this thing that I have been looking at and seeing pictures and videos of for years and wanting to go so badly. And then I find out that I get to go and that people want me to go and that people are looking forward to me having a good time. And I spent the whole time that I was there just being so incredibly grateful and thinking about how I wanted to make like the best content possible out of that because I wanted to show you guys how much I appreciated it and just like how much it meant to me. I definitely cried a couple times about that because it just felt like this overwhelming amount of love and support and uh, gosh, I love it and I wanna make other people feel that way too. So I'm hoping that that is a contest that gets to be done again so somebody else can get to go and I get to meet them while they're there because I will be back at VidCon this year. Plans are already there. Tickets already bought, hotels already booked, and I'm gonna get to see people that I've never gotten to see before, and it's gonna be awesome. But that's next year. Speaking of meeting people, I've met so many people from online. I got to meet so many people at VidCon. I got to hang out with Chloe and Josh and JT and Drew in DC. I got to meet Annalise in Pittsburgh. I don't think I actually filmed that. I don't know if I've talked about that, but I was in Pittsburgh uh, during the 4th of July and Annalise told me that she was gonna be there and so I got to meet her. That was awesome. I got to meet uh, Christina. And then obviously through this year, specifically like the second half of the year, I have been able to get connected with Michael Aranda and his crew. I've been able to help them out and kind of work uh, a little bit behind the scenes to help things go. Also getting the chance to get to know them and just really uh, enjoying them as people as well as the content that they are producing. It's been a really cool adventure. I have been working behind the scenes to help get Michael's videos transcribed and trying to sort of facilitate that. I think I've talked about that a couple times, so that's been an experience that I've enjoyed a lot and then getting to go and help with the live stream was awesome as well. So I'm looking this year to continue to help facilitate what they're doing. So as incoherent as this jumbled mess has been, I basically just want to say thank you. You guys have made this year amazing. I was at 100 subscribers at the end of January last year. I hit 200 in May. I hit 300 in like October or something. But more importantly to me, like that subscriber number has always been a thing that like has never been important to me because that's never dictated how good I feel about what I'm creating and my experience on YouTube. Once my year in review video goes up, you're going to get to hear about the goals that I've created for myself this coming year. Year. And for a while this year's on YouTube video series has been a separate thing. So I've created for myself separate goals uh, to do on YouTube that are different than my real life because they have been so separate. But I think that so much of my life is now intertwined with the YouTube things that it is highly related. I, a lot of the goals that I 
have said in my year in review are going to apply here as well. But one of the things that is very specifically YouTube is my skill level with creating content and creating productions that are you know, constantly getting more challenging. And I have been able to do that a little bit this year. I started working only with Adobe Premiere for this past year. It has been challenging. Premiere is a tough program, especially coming from iMovie, but I've been able to do some things that I was never able to do before, and I hope to continue making more advanced content, even though it takes longer, and to continue learning new things. So that's definitely a goal that I have for this next year. Obviously, I want to keep developing connections, I want to still keep making friends, and I want to figure out how to balance this thing called life with this thing called YouTube, because it is going to be tough. I think I'm going to end this here so I can go get on Google Hangouts with some of my friend people some of you guys. Thank you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I say this every video because it is so important to me. Thank you for watching. You don't have to. This is time that you've taken out of your life that you did not need to give me. I am just so grateful for that. I'm grateful for your friendship. I'm grateful for your engagement. I'm grateful for your comments. I am grateful for it all. Gosh, I don't know. Thank you. I will see you all later.